Hello and welcome to the May 2022 Celtic Tune of the Month. This month we have a mazurka, Sunny, uh, called Hugh Gillespie's. Uh, mazurkas uh, originated from Poland, but they did find their way into uh, parts of Ireland. And so this is an Irish mazurka. Now mazurkas, uh, they're on 3-4 time, and uh, they are, the downbeat is on beat number 2. Now the mazurkas that I, Irish mazurkas that I have seen written out, written the beat one as a pickup. So, uh, but either way, so depending, it's going to depend on how I count this out for you later on, if I'm going to count it one and two, three and one and two, three. But if you see it written out as an Irish mazurka, it would be three and one, two and three and one, two. So either way, um, you want that downbeat like that. And this mazurka is in the key of G, which means we need our F sharp levers. Here is the A part. We're going to start with our third finger on D, then we're going to go to G and B. So basically what we're doing is we're outlining a G major chord in our second inversion. So if you don't know inversions, we have our first inversion, uh, or sorry, root position with the root G on the bottom, G, B, D, and then if we invert it, putting that root on top, there's our first inversion. And now if we put what's on the bottom on top, we have our second inversion. So we're starting out with a G chord, second inversion, D, G, B. And now we have three fingers uh, from B down to A, uh, G, B, A, G. Now we're going to outline that G chord in the root position, G, B, D. Two Ds. Let's do that again. So D, G, B. Three down from A. And then outlining that G chord. Now we're going to put our fourth finger on A, so we'll have three in a row, A, B, C. Thumb's going to go up to E. And we're going to play that C again. And now four in a row from that E, E, D, C, B. We're going to put three fingers back in a row and the thumb's going to go up to G. We're going to move on because the beginning of the second half of the A is like the first part, so D, G, B, and then B, A, G, G, B, D. This time we're going to put our third finger on A because we don't need to get up to the E. We're going to go A, B, C, and then C, B, C, A, F. A, G. So playing through it from the beginning to the end of the A part slowly, starting with the D, B, G, uh, D, G, B. A skip and a skip. Two Ds, fourth finger on A, three in a row up to E. Two Cs, now four in a row down. Three in a row and then up to G. Starting it over with D, G, B, B, A, G, and then G, B, D. This time our third finger goes to A, three in a row, A, B, C, B, C, A, F, A, G. I'm going to count out the A part. Now, like I said in the introduction, uh, that the mazurkas originated from Poland and our downbeat, our accented beat, is on the beat two. But in all of the Irish mazurkas that I have seen, they write the first beat as a pickup. So that is how I'm going to count it out. So I'm gonna, it's going to sound like our downbeat is on beat one, but uh, that's not originally how they were written. But since we're doing the Irish mazurkas, I'm going to count it out the way the Irish write it out. Here we go. So... It starts on a, a um, beat three. One, two, three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, three, and one, two, and three, and one, and three, and 
and one, two and three and one, two, three and one and two and three and one, two. Here is the B part of Hugh Gillespie's Mazurka. We're going to start up on this high G and three in a row, G, F sharp, E. And then we're going to go from F sharp and now four in a row from G all the way down to D. And now we're going to start with our fourth finger on A. Remember that? A, B, C and thumb up to E. And then from E, four down to B. We're going to start all over. The second half starts the same. So G, F sharp, E. Then F sharp and then four in a row from G down to D. And remember I said the ending of the B is like the ending of the A, so third finger goes to A and then B, C. C, B, C, A, F sharp, A, G. So let's play through that one more time, the B part, starting on G up here, three in a row, down, G, F sharp, A, E. F sharp to B, G, and then four in a row from G. And then a fourth finger goes to A, thumb up, uh, so three in a row, and then up to E. Okay, now you've got that finger on A, uh, thumb on E already, now four in a row. Starting up on G again, three in a row, heading down. And then F to G, four in a row, down from G. Third finger to A, A, B, C. C, B, C, A, F. So we're going to count out that B part again. We're going to start uh, as B, um, the first two notes as a pickup. So starting on beat three, one, two, three, and one, two, and three, and a one, two, three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, three, and one, two, and three, and a one, two. Three and one and two and three and one, two. Here are the chords for the A part. We're going to start with a G chord. Now we're going to move to C. Back to G. to D, F sharp minor, or uh, sorry, it's F sharp diminished, and then G. Here are the chords for the B part. We're going to start with C, to G, A minor, G. Diminished and then G. 